Mattress. The biggest 4th of July event is underway at the Bin. Save up to 50% off Doorbusters and Outdoor. Then take up to an extra 25% off. Plus 5-year special financing. The 4th of July sale. Now at the Bin Furniture and Mattress. iHeartRadio is the exclusive audio home of NBC's coverage of the 2024 Paris Olympics. It's the only way to listen to exclusive NBC play-by-play action of Team USA. Plus NBC's top Olympic moments, original Summer Games podcasts and live hourly updates from the games in Paris on the iHeart app and right here on this station. Be sure you have the free iHeart app, the exclusive audio home of NBC's coverage of the 2024 Paris Olympics. iHeartRadio. Now it's time to give stuff away. Time to give stuff away. All right, I want to go see the Dave Matthews Band. You'll get my last pair of tickets this week. They are coming to Blossom on Tuesday night. I'm not sure who's with them, but if you're a Dave Matthews, probably Tim Reynolds. I don't know. Dave Matthews Band, Tuesday, June 25 at Blossom. I don't know if it's sold out, but you can go to LiveNation.com, and they'll get you hip to what else is going on. This pair of tickets here for you. Be caller 10, and you'll be there. Good luck. 216-578-1007 to win or 800-348-1007. Have you ever been impregnated with excitement? Well, it looks like you're showing. Welcome back to your new daddy, Alan Cox. Of WMMS. Great, underrated Queen songs called Hammer to Fall off of an album called The Works, which was kind of their return to Brian May was like, we're a rock band, let's rock again, because the album they had done before that kind of flopped. It was called Hot Space, and it was kind of experimental and a lot of synths and whatever, so they came back in the mid-'80s with The Works, and it was real good. I love Hammer to Fall. Uh, Queen, Brian May, whoever is in charge of that band's estate and its business dealings, uh, have completed the biggest catalog acquisition in history. $1.27 billion for the Queen catalog. And they knew this was coming. I mean, this had been bandied about for a while. Uh, People who know these kinds of things were like, when they're ready to sell, it's going to be a lot of money. Uh, Brian May, Roger Taylor, Roger Deacon was their bass player, but he bailed after. He never came back after Freddie died. Queen went out with Adam Lambert. Um, I don't know if they still go out with Adam Lambert. I think they do. But Sony Music, I mean, people who think record labels are dead, uh, they're still printing money. Sony Music has shelled out $1.2 billion for the Queen catalog. Uh, Last year, Sony paid $600 million for half of Michael Jackson's publishing and uh, masters. They've also bought Bruce Springsteen, Paul Simon, and Tame Impala's catalogs. There's probably a pretty sizable drop-off there. Tame Impala. I mean, I like that guy, but didn't think he had any catalog worth selling yet. So Disney owns the recording rights. They, the Queen struck a deal with them way back in the 30 years ago. And so there's a lot of tentacles to this deal. A universal music group is still the, they still have a contract with the band to be their distributor for a few years. But Brian May is basically um, uh, sold off the catalog. Which means that Sony has Just their... peel me off like 20 mil of that, Brian. Yeah. You don't need that at all. Give me 20 mil. Call that that guy's a rocket man. scientist, too. Like a legit rocket scientist. Right, so that's what I'm saying. He even knows that... Not that you're going to get wealthy doing that, but, you know, he's... 
He has other interests. So Sony will own the band's name and likeness, which means they can do whatever they want to with it. That's why it's such a huge, huge deal, because they're like, you're, you you only pay for this one time because then they can do whatever the hell they 1. want. 1.2 so, bill? Yeah. Uh. So it's like, you know, if they're going to roll, if Sony wants to do hologram Freddie Mercury in Vegas, they can do it. If they want to do Bohemian Rhapsody 2, <laughs> you know, after Freddie, they can do whatever they want to do. They play this in live age. The what? You played this at the Live Aid set. Yeah. Great, great song. Yeah, because this is the new album when Live Aid was happening, I think. So they were showcasing all the new music. Give it to me one more time! Roger Taylor, of course, one of the great underrated drummers in rock and roll, too. Um, behind the drums there for Queen. But, yeah, that's pretty wild. Billion bucks. Not too shabby. The Guardians um, come from behind uh, to take that third game against the Mariners. They shut them out last night. It was 8 to nothing, And so they take 2 or 3 there. And they will play the Blue Jays this weekend. Saturday's game is sold out. That's the one Bill will be at. Yeah. It's probably why it's sold out. Yes, that's the reason. Me... Bill not, attending. not the yeah me me sitting in the Just upper deck out. is it's like oh I can't miss that. Always want to see one of Bill's mm-hmm. upper deckers, and it's going to be yeah. there on Saturday. It's the fifth sellout hot, of this dude, huh? Ninety three degrees on Saturday. Oh yeah. Ugh. Uh, the fifth sellout of the season, opening day, May eighteenth against Minnesota, May thirty first against Washington, and June one against Washington. But a lot of Nationals fans here. So uh, there are still a handful of tickets. I think it was for, just a really nice weekend that weekend. Uh, only a handful of tickets remaining for tomorrow night, where our own Cody Poundcake Brown will be delivering the game ball. And then Sunday, all three games, of course, against Toronto. Saturday is sold out. It is Josh Naylor bobblehead night. Oh, yeah. That's Mary's guy. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, of course, the post-game concert by Shaq Diesel. Or is he just Diesel now? He's DJ Shaq Diesel. Is he? I believe. Huh? Keeps changing his name like Puffy. Shaq Diesel. Um, and so that'll be uh, Saturday. And then Sunday is, the, you know, the, when the kids run around. That one's kids, probably kids be close to sold out, too. Probably, right? yeah. Kids run the bases day. So 7-10 tomorrow night. Is going to be that first of three against the Blue Jays. Live on the buzzer of the iHeartRadio app. How 7, 10, first pitch, 640, pretty good. How hot am I going to be on Saturday? Oh, very hot. <laughs> 90 degrees. Yeah, I 93 is what she said. 93 degrees. I didn't listen to anything I say. It makes me mad. <laughs> it's what I'm Mary, how do you feel about, about anything you say makes mm-hmm. him mad? How about that? I'm not even being a bitch this time. I know. I just was. Anything was... you say. <laughs> Makes I, him mad. It, it wasn't that. I was just not. I was thinking about. He was not paying stuff. attention yeah. to you, Mary. I can listen to the show. I not paying mm-hmm. attention. Oh. I know it'll cheer you up. No. A new Ray song. The last one's going to be Did you get a sandwich yet? I did get a sandwich. <laughs> oh, you did? You went downstairs and got yeah, a sandwich? I, I smashed half of it. What kind of sandwich? Italian sub. Oh, yeah? Sandwich. That's not what I originally had because there's a deli that's right downstairs, right next door to the radio station, mm-hmm. which is fine. But it's you have okay. to go out to the street or it's in the building? No, it's like um, out. You have to go out of the building. Yeah. But it's right next door. Um, but it's okay. It's not my first choice. The one that I like better, I wouldn't have been able to make it there and back in a break. Oh, it's you had like, to get a like quick one they could away. slap together. Yeah, it's like two blocks away. So the other place, it's just, I don't know, the ingredients are fresher and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Um, but this is fine. I mean, it's an Italian sub. It's hard to mess up an Italian sub, you know, so. So uh, oil and vinegar, it tomatoes, is capicola. Tomatoes. No, see, this is why it's not even like a top shelf Italian sub. It's ham, turkey, and salami. Oh, that's so Not even pepperoni? Yeah, it's not pepperoni, mm. not capicola, nothing of that. 
nothing to it's, that. Well, extent. how do they call the, it the an loosest, Italian sub? Because yeah, yeah. yeah. that's, that's what they call it. it. Yeah, they, they had salami and Italian dressing on it. The guy who makes it is from <laughs> Sicily. Did you get an no, Italian? Hey! Tra- he's Mexican. He's, no, he's, he's English. <laughs> he's uh, from the Sicily of Mexico. And lettuce, tomato, onion, Italian dressing. I mean, oh, they have to have cheese. a they have to have amazing Italian chefs in Mexico, like anywhere else in the world. Probably. Yeah. Maybe he's one of those guys. So, uh, yeah, it's um, it's it's fine. It's not what I wanted. I wanted the original sandwich that I have for lunch. But yes, I well, you got some it. food in you, so I feel a little better. I got a little bit of food in me. But you have spots tonight. I just picked up a seven o'clock. Uh, Hosting spot, so I am gonna have to leave before the plugs. Tonight. That's fine. But annoying, I just wondered I mean, if you were, if you were gonna have to deal with dinner later on, or if this is a. I'm just gonna take the sandwich. This with is me. a liner situation. Yeah, where I'll, I ate half the sandwich now, and then I'll eat the other half when I get to the club at oh like boy. seven, because I won't be back to my apartment till like nine. Um, Did you but, ever iron out that whispering situation? No, I never revisited it. You I didn't. talked to a couple other comics about it, about when I felt slighted by some other comedians. And um, a few other comics who have been here for a while and have uh, been, like, moved from other scenes and things like that affirmed where they're like, it's just what it is. It's catty. It's like high school. I mean, people have their, their little friend group, and if you're not immediately in it, then you're out of it, you know? Like, that's just... Well, cast your mind forward and probably take some comfort in knowing that the longer you're there, the cattier you'll get. I don't think so. Nobody ever thinks they will. And you know what? The that's other what showbiz does to you, baby. The other other part of it was where they people here talk a lot about finding your class, right? So the comics who are kind of at the same level as you, and that could go in any form of entertainment or any job, really. The people who are at your same level that you're kind of doing the same stuff, all that. Um, I had that conflated because. I am doing the same stuff as the people in the, quote, class above me as far as, like, headlining shows on the road and I'm at all the same clubs they are and, like... In you mean class as in seniority, like the seniority subtle generations class, of... Right, yes. Not material. Not right. material. Right. Just, like, when you started and the things you're doing in your career. Yes, If right. that makes sense. Yes. And I'm like, well, all the people that I've met on the road that I've... You know, headlining the same clubs. I'm headlining, they're headlining. I'm not opening for them. You know, that kind of stuff. That's who I thought my friends would be. And then I come here and they're like, oh, just because we have the same career, you are a newcomer to New York. Yeah. So you are not in our class. No, they're going to big time, yeah. yeah. They're like, we could give two crap. You could actually be selling more tickets than us on the road, but you're not in our, like, seniority class as far as New York City goes. So I was like, well, that's stupid. Like, none of this makes sense. You didn't see that coming? It just didn't make sense. I did not think it would be as catty as it is. I didn't think it would be as clicky. Because we're all doing the same stuff. Yeah, but everything's clicky. Yeah. So it's fine. But a a couple other comics. Yeah, my ankles. A couple other comics were like, no, that's totally normal. Especially when you first move here. That people aren't going to even be nice to you for two years because so many people start and quit. That they're expecting you to move home or quit. So, yeah, you got to, they got to see you're toughing it out. Right. Yeah. Which is fine. I'm over it. Mary, it is really Mary, why you bugging? You know why I don't think you should be worried? Why? Hot lava? Hot lava coconut milk? I was going to say you're going to be in a class all by yourself. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what, Alan? Hot lava coconut milk? <laughs> For kind everyone. of a candy response. But <laughs> since you met, see, she's already on her way. Say, she's if learning. I, if anybody were listening to the show for the first time, they'd be like, she just pick four words. <laughs> she having a stroke? F A S T. Terrible choices in fashion, whatever it was. Um, no, but since you brought it up, the hot lava and the coconut milk, there is a new Ray song. Now that the student has become the master of cattiness over here, uh, I, I assume his jumping off point was your story earlier about uh, getting fried on the pool level of Margaritaville there in Times Square. The song is called Sun Kissed Mary. Ugh. Now, I don't know if there's going to be hot lava in this. The music he's chosen is tropical Chinese pop. What? <laughs> So this might really blow off your noggin.
Mary loves the sun, shining so bright. All day by the poolside, she feels so right. But oh no, too long. Skin turns red in the light. Need a touch of something cool and uh -oh. make it right. Here it comes. Ray brings the cold to love Soothe your burn with his coconut milk, Mary. Uh, sunburn vanished like a peach. Ray's hands cool what? like rain. What part of this is Chinese? I don't know. Maybe there were some angular banjos in the there. Software. What do I know? What did you say, uh, Bill? The software. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Collecting all his data every time he puts it in. Yep. <laughs> just... I don't know if Ray's concerned about that. But, uh, all right. I like the song. It's chill. Yeah. I still think that that last... It's got like, a pop... new country vibe to it. That last, like, pop punk one he did was the best. Oh, the last one. Let's see if I can find that one. Um, that was from, what, Summer Scorcher? Was that what it was? Melt My Face? From Monday? No, it would have been Tuesday. Mary Centaurus yeah, drives me wild. Got that heat that makes me smile. Face melts down like lava flow. <laughs> Deep pics got me saying whoa. Yeah, coconuts and lava streams. How about that? Honestly, the song, though. Heartbeats echo like a sound. Oh, AI, <laughs> you're delightful. Uh, yeah, all right. Well, it's pretty good, right? The tone of it is all right. I know you're a big one on tone. And yeah. the tone there is pretty good. But um, <laughs> Mary's summer scorcher. Well, anyway, he's consistent in his... Um, in his continuing... Um, his quest. Ab his quest. <laughs> his quest for Mary's hand. That's right. Oh, that's nice. Or foot. He might, he might be... He, want the foot. he would rather want the foot, it sounds yeah. like. It seems like he's looking for the foot. <laughs> Did you see the picture? Apparently a guy who plays for the Browns drove into a restaurant in Key West. Yup. I've never heard of this guy. Yeah, I don't think he was like a starter or anything. But he's still on the team? No, they cut him. At, because of this or before? Yeah, because of this. Oh, wow. Lonnie Phelps. They said he did $300,000 worth of damage to a restaurant in Key West because he was drunk. Plowed his SUV into a high-end Key West restaurant. Charged with drunken driving and damaging property after the accident at the Red Shoe Island Bistro. He's he refused a breathalyzer test. Huh? He's only 23. Well, it's never too early to ruin your career. The building's owner estimated the damage at $300,000. Does he make that? Does that kind of guy make that much, Bill? I don't think so. I think not this anymore. A, yeah, I don't think this. He was like a high draft pick or anything. I think this guy was like a, you know, just probably a late round pick that was probably making the league league minimum, which, which is, is probably is. around three hundred, four hundred thousand dollars. But at his position, yeah, probably nothing crazy like that. But then you got to pay taxes and everything. So lawyer fees, ding. Yeah. Alan, you make more than a professional football player. That's crazy. You're a millionaire. I mean, He's a not. Lot. <laughs> what was his last name? Lonnie what? Phelps. Lonnie, Lonnie Phelps, you know. Um, he got lucky that the lounge was closed outside because the okay. owner's like, if this had thing had been oh yeah. He's like, if this lounge had been open, people could have been killed. He crashed his SUV into the restaurant after he drove over a sidewalk and missed a palm tree. Uh, Phelps spent last season on the practice squad, oh, never so, appearing in a game. So he didn't even make it that far. He was undrafted, so he, he's not making a ton of money at all. Wait, uh, then how is he on our roster if he's undrafted? 
There's a lot of people on the roster. You can, sign, would, yeah. you can sign people undrafted free agents, and then they end up on the practice squad. You just walk in and put in an application? Yes, that's how you do it. No, they do they, they uh, uh, reach out to your representation and your say, Instagram. hey. Yeah, they, yeah, they sign your DM <laughs> to, yo, <laughs> what you doing? Yo, you look fit. <laughs> yo, <laughs> hey, that's summer How would you like to show me them defensive ends? <laughs> What's your 40 time? <laughs> Police reports said he and a female passenger appeared under the influence of alcohol or drugs. He turned away from the police attempting to interview him, saying he was afraid he would be shot. Well, he is black in America. But uh, nobody got hurt other than him and the $300,000 worth of damage done to... What would it have sounded like, Mary, had he been shot? (laughs) Nailed it. Oh, uh, Jeremiah sent me a video of, I haven't, he said that Leanne won. Should I send this to you, Alan? Sure. I'll email it to you so you can play it. Mm-hmm. Uh, he signed a one-year contract for $795,000. So we played at it's the gone. University of Kansas. Yeah, that's all gone. I mean, you know, it, probably most of it was gone to begin with. Yeah, well, listen, nobody died. It was a vehicular situation. Somebody will pick this guy up if he's good enough. There's been people who have done way worse than that who have he been drunk. Yeah. yeah, drunk. Yeah, but if you're a practice squad player, you didn't even make it on the field. I don't think. Those but somebody guys- might want to look at you, right? At this point, they get them for cheap. Yeah, but they're also like you aren't that good, and now and you're, you're a problem. Yeah, yeah.